What we want to talk about now is how to solve an initial value problem representing a mass spring system where there is no damping some initial conditions mu at time 0 is 2 which means that initially the mass is displaced 2 units below the rest position the rest position is that y equals 0 and it has y prime being equal to negative 1 y prime we should remember would represent the velocity and so that means that while the mass is displaced two units below rest, it is initially going upwards as it's released. Now what we have here is an f of t, an external forcing function, and that external forcing function is given by this guy right here. What is this function? This is a step function, u of t minus 5, so this is going to wait until t equal 5 to do anything. And then what is it going to do? Well then it will turn on and it does this. What is this? This is cosine of 3t minus 15. So this step function, we should remember, is just a convenient notation for a piecewise definition. And so what we see with this piecewise definition is that we will wait until five seconds to do anything. And then after five seconds and beyond, we will fire up this cosine function. If we were to graph... Here is the section for which we do nothing. So for the lifespan of this experiment, up until five seconds, there is no external force that's being applied. Then at five seconds, this cosine of 3t minus 15, which is another way of saying cosine of 3 times t minus 5, quantity, it's turned on, and so this is the switched on external force. And it's a cosine in nature. So what are going to be the steps? Well, step one, we will transform the ODE and we will solve for y of s. Step two, that's really the step where we try to massage the terms into things that are readily accessible on the Laplace transform table. And then step three, ultimately we transform back to y of t. So, before we do this, what are our expectations? Well, our expectations is that the mass will move sinusoidally after time t equals zero. Why is that? This is because of the initial conditions. And then at time t equal 5, an external sinusoidal force will kick on. And it turns out, and this is a key point of the problem, is that this external forcing function is, in fact, at the resonant frequency. What is that resonant, fr resonant frequency? That resonant frequency is omega is equal to the square root of k over m, which is equal to 27 divided by 3 under a square root, which is 3.
So this purple graph that was shown before is the external forcing agent. It is at the resonant frequency. And so our expectation is that the system will oscillate with increasing amplitude. And so what would we really understand from the method of undetermined coefficients? Well, we understand that there's this homogeneous motion. which is purely sinusoidal. And then there is this particular motion that's time-delayed. And this is resonance. What we would need to figure out are two things. Thing number one is, what is the time delay? And thing number two is, what are the A and B? Now, because of that time delay and because of the piecewise nature, this isn't really set up for um, the method of undetermined coefficients. It's a Laplace transform problem. And that's what we'll investigate next, is we'll break this problem down with the Laplace transform method, and then... Um, write the solution out through inverse transform and see what the result is. Okay, so I'd like to take the Laplace transform of the whole order.